Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a climate graph using Google Sheets. It's really easy if you just follow these steps. First, you need good data. The data you should have, again, it would be months, precipitation, and average temperature all by month. So you start off, even though I've got the name here, I'm not going to highlight that. I'm going to start off and clicking on months, and then I'm going to click and drag to contain all of the data for that area. Once I let go, I click on insert chart. I'm going to use the old chart editor because I like it better. Click on old chart editor. First thing we're going to do is change the chart type. Click on the tab. Click on the one that has the combo chart. Now we're going to go back to customize it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the title. It says millimeters and degrees Celsius. We're going to change that to Toronto, Ontario, your name and date. I'm going to scroll down, make it smooth. Then I'm going to go to where it says series. I'm going to take a series of millimeters. And I'm going to put this on the right side. Next, I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to change the axes, left vertical, and I'm going to type in temperature. I'm going to put a minimum value of negative 30 and a positive value of 30 for minimum and maximum. This is so when we compare climate graphs across Canada, uh, they'll all have the same range. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the scale on the precipitation. I have a minimum of zero and a maximum of 200 millimeters. Again, so when we compare it to others, they'll all have the same scale. Update, done. Now, if we wanted to paste it in, we click on the three squares, copy chart, and you can put it wherever you need to, or you can save the image and it becomes something that you can then insert into a document. That's it.